Since the ancient book of Annals Cambry, a millennium and a half ago, the mythical tale of Merlin has entertained and enchanted. Extraordinary special effects, action, drama, and characters are bringing the stories of Camelot back to life. For the first time, take a trip behind the cameras and into the magical world of the hit new series that is captivating Australia. In this world exclusive journey, Behind the Secrets of Merlin. Featuring interviews with Merlin, Guinevere, Arthur, Morgana, Uther, Gaius, as well as the people behind the cameras, the special effects, and the magic of Merlin. I would describe this series as a swashbuckling magical adventure. I think Merlin is a fantastic family viewing. It's certainly been a huge event in my life. It's got all the ingredients to be something quite special. Stress, adrenaline, fun, um, excitement. Watching a series come together in front of your eyes is a real privilege. One of the few shows we can sit down all together as a family and all enjoy. You know, it's not, it doesn't, it doesn't dumb down, it doesn't dumb up, it doesn't dumb anything. <laughs> There's like great action sequences for the kids, but some of the stories are quite deep actually, some of them are quite dark. In the castle of Camelot, a young warlock practices his magical craft. Deep in the secret caverns below, he consorts with a mythical dragon to help him with his quests. The young man behind the spells, Colin Morgan. I think whenever you first uh, embark on something and you read the scripts and you read the stories, you get so excited about it and it's completely lived up to expectations. We're just faced with new challenges every day and as an actor, and a chance to do a mixture of both comedy and dramatic scenes is another great thing with a mixture of the light and the dark. means you go the other way and cut him off. There's just so much going on every day in the variety, it's, it's just good fun. Merlin has his quirks, as does Colin himself. The character Merlin, uh, obviously, just kind of, uh, is a bit, uh, as I know, he, he, he trips up on himself quite a bit, in both verbally and physically. And What is it? You really are a total buffoon, aren't you, Merlin? Yeah, I find on set I've been, I've, uh, I've been a bit accident prone. You're braver than you look. Is it over? It's just a warm up. Uh, perhaps that's something that kind of, that kind of transcends. I'm Guinevere, but most people call me Gwen. I'm the Lady Morgana's maid. Right. I'm Merlin. <laughs> Hello, most people call me idiot. Merlin, it seems, uh, takes a bit of a shine to almost every female that enters Camelot. He's just nervous around around girls, and he would like he would like to sort of go for it, but with the weight of, of of his responsibilities and 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 the amount that he's got in his mind all the time, he kind of gets veered off and gets distracted. Now, remember, you're here to work. When you are in a scene with a 30-foot dragon, you can't possibly be too big or too bold. Whenever I'm acting it, I'm just going, ah! But when you see it afterwards, it's all put together. It's, it's those moments I find fascinating and great. I, I, find, it, I find a lot of freedom with it, and just, I just go for it and, and uh, try my best, and, and it's good fun. A great magician, Merlin is called upon to help the defenseless. Sometimes it requires bravery and action rather than spells and wizardry. I really enjoyed doing uh, some of the stunt stuff that we've, we've had a chance to do. A lot of my stuff uh, happens sort of in post-production. I just sort of point and then the stuff happens afterwards. 
but I, I did get a chance to be on a wire where they rig you into a harness and uh, some big guy standing behind the stand literally y yanks you on a, on a chain and you go up about six foot into the air and about 30 foot back into a foam wall. As the ancient saying goes though, it's hard to keep a good warlock down. I absolutely loved, I uh, wanted to keep doing it again and again. Coming up, more secrets revealed. We went on at the producers for ages, and I don't know if it was because we went on at them or just because they had the idea already, but they eventually gave us a sword and we did some fighting. I, I am uh, in anticipation as everyone else as to how it's going to turn out. So, you've got voyagers on the arms. Mm -hmm. The hauberk goes over your chest. Chest, the chest. I guess you know what to do with the helmet. Um, yeah, yeah, that was the only bit I figured out. <laughs> How come you're so much better at this than me? Every hero must have his heroine. Friend of Merlin, servant of Morgana, and future Queen of England. Guinevere. Gwen is a young girl who's um, a maid who works in the castle um, with Morgana. She's Morgana's maidservant um, and she's grown up in Camelot, I think. She's probably um, been Morgana's maidservant since they were very little. So they've got a, a loyal relationship, although it's still sort of like mistress-servant, really, when it comes down to it. I feel I've put you in danger without ever stopping to ask how you feel about it. I'm sorry. I know how it feels to face the threat of execution. And I wouldn't wish that on anyone. When she first meets Merlin, he, he arrives in Camelot, and um, the first time she sees him, he's standing up to Arthur, who she thinks is a bit of an arrogant pig, really. I warn you, I've been trained to kill since birth. Wow. How long have you been training to be a prat? You can't address me like that. Sorry. <laughs> How long have you been training to be a prat? My lord. <laughs> She just has this sort of quirky thing where she, she'll she say more than she means to say about how she feels, sort of incidentally, and then get really embarrassed and sort of backtrack and get really flustered. <laughs> All right, what am I thinking? That I'm not psychic. <laughs> You're strange. I don't, I don't 